Okay, so we're doing a chapter review of your first year network marketing by Mark Renee Arnell. Uh, you know, I finished the book. This is going to be chapter seven. It's called Alluding uh, to the Meeting Minds. Well, what this is talking about is things that you really need to avoid doing, whether uh, if you're conducting a meeting or trying to have a meeting or setting up a meeting. Um, I'm just going to read through the list here because these are kind of long. There are eight different minds to avoid, and there's going to be a couple tips on the uh, recruiting and training meetings as well. So the first one that you need to avoid is a hotel meeting. Okay, so these meetings are something you need to avoid unless you're a very, very big organization and you have a big network already built up. Because if you go to a hotel meeting, set up hotel meetings, uh, chain are going to be a lot of no-shows that go there, and it's not personal. By you having this, your your know, prospects think they have to have hotel meetings as well. And that's most certainly not true. All right, so number two is uh, setting up meetings that act like a part-time adult daycare, which meaning uh, like you're doing all the work for your new prospects, your new members. You're doing actually everything for them, and they never learn. Okay, so that defeats the points of network, uh, network marketing. It's all about personal development and building your own business, not having somebody else build your business for you. The church service, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, if you have people kind of come like once a weekend or something like that, uh, you're you're de you're developing your own codependency for your your downline, your new members. They're all going to depend on you and get their recruitment done on that day instead of doing it themselves. So try to avoid that. The deception meeting. This one would really make me mad if somebody did it to me. So you never ever want to do this. The deception meeting is like telling a bunch of friends, hey, let's have a dinner party. So after your dinner party, you're like, oh, you know, surprise, it's actually a business meeting. Or have a pool party and say, oh, surprise, it's a business meeting. It's fine to tell people that you're having like a dual purpose uh, get together. Say, hey, you know, we're going to have a business meeting to start out with, but we're going to go to the pool after if you'd like to join or vice versa. You can say, hey, we're going to have a pool party, but after everybody shows up, I uh, want to go ahead and transition to a business meeting if you're interested in coming. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as they know it's coming. All right? The office meeting. So people think that uh, once they get big in the business, make a lot of money, they have to have their own office. And once again, this is not personal. This gives a false image of what network marketing is. If you have an office, the people who come to your office think that they have to have an office as well, which most people can't afford. And it's not duplicatable within your downline. So avoid that one as well. Six is a bar or restaurant meeting. Don't ever do it. it. There's way too many distractions from the bartenders or or people shooting pool or whatever it may be. Make it more personal. Just do house meetings. Uh, seventh is the other guy's place. It doesn't matter how nice the guy's place is or how uh, you know small or uh, inexpensive your place is. Have it at your house. You're in control of your environment. If you go to somebody else's really nice house, once again, it's a false image because it's not your place. And two, uh, you know, they're kind of in control. What if they have kids? What if they have something else going on? They're going to have a lot of distractions. That's going to take away from your presentations. Um, eighth mine is technology. Don't rely too much on fancy technology. Once again, it's not duplicatable, not necessary. Just basically... You, you have to have a DVD player now or whatever it may be, um, you know, projector if you want, but a whiteboard. Whiteboard is plenty good enough to have a house meeting, so just stick with that. Uh, recruiting meetings, uh, anytime you have this, the best ones are ones that, you, that are very simple and that are duplicatable. If it's not duplicatable, nobody's going to do it because they know they can. Uh, they talked about a guy in here that had a humongous yacht, like... An enormous shot, millions of dollars. And he had all of his meetings on there and had catering from his kids that he paid, you know, cocktails, shrimps, all this good stuff. He was cre recruiting like a machine, but his downline was doing nothing. So the thing is, they didn't have confidence because that guy was having all his meetings on a yacht and they had no yacht to duplicate that. All right, so whenever you do this, always fully schedule twice as many people. That you uh, then you expect to show up because you're gonna have a lot of no shows. It's just the way it is, the way life does. It's fine. And uh, training meetings. All right. So it says people within the first hour they retain about 15% of what you tell them because that that first hour is very important. Okay. 
If it goes to two hours, they'll retain 10%. If it goes three hours past, they'll retain 5% of the information that you tell them. That's all that's going to stick with them. So there, there are suggestions in here. Have two meetings, 10-minute break, a 50-minute meeting, 10-minute break, 50-minute meeting, okay? So that's going to be the best for them. Give us a brain rest. So if you like this information, once again, shoot me an email at tkdblack2012 at yahoo.com. Like, share, or comment on the post, or ask me about my blog.